Hello, welcome back to my YouTube. It's been a while since I've done one from New York. But here we are, we're on the High Line. I'm um, here with Mark and we just checked in. We're staying in the standard on the High Line. Uh, it's ideal because we're like literally walking straight up to our first activity. It's kind of nice about this trip is we have no plans. Activity is it? Activity? activity. Or probably only activity we've planned. Uh, we've no plans at all like, um, we're just planning on eating a lot. So it's more gonna be like a food vlog, if that's okay with you all, but we're heading up to Hudson Yards now. We're gonna go to the edge. I'll show you a quick vlog, or quick snap of it here. Um, this is new since I moved back. And uh, yeah, since I guess, since I moved back, I've kind of just had a sour taste in my mouth about New York, just cause obviously the way things ended, but I'm very excited to be back and to like, refine my love for it and I think it'll be somewhere me and Mark can come on cute little romantic weekends away and eat until our heart is content. Both of our hearts are content. Um, so tonight we've booked into Bond Street, which is like sushi, so I'm very excited. But it's been like freezing here, snowing the last week, to, week or two. It's absolutely unreal here today. It's like sunny, warm, like well not warm, but it's like the same at home, but um, over here, well, I guess when it's sunny, it's not windy or raining, so it's, it feels warmer, so we're very lucky. So yeah, we're heading off to the highlight now, to the edge, the viewing point, and I will bring you along with us. We got our tickets for the edge, just in the shopping center beside the Vesso. Hudson Yards. So cool. It's like a lot more shops since the last time I was here. Okay, I'm gonna put in here. Hope you don't mind. This format of video is gonna be a little bit different. I just want to explain the food that we get a little bit more because when you're in a restaurant, it's hard to talk about it enough. I'm back in Dublin. It's horrible outside. It's raining. It's stormy. And I still want to do this food vlog, but I feel like I haven't given enough detail in what I've recorded in New York. So first of all, we checked out Shake Shack, which is just an American classic, self-service, really affordable, the best burgers, the best chips, um, just a quick, easy option. We were starving after getting off the airplane, so we checked out here. Okay, well, this is the most epic sunset you'll ever get. I think the sun actually just went down. It was over here. Look at this, it's the whole city. The Statue of Liberty is over here. Yeah. Someone's phone is actually down here. They're recording like a time lapse. Which will be a great time lapse. <laughs> Empire State, we're currently queuing for the very edge. But it's kind of a long line. I don't know if we'll, I don't know if we'll make it. Oh yeah, hang on. Look at this. <laughs> yep, that's cars down there. This is very cool. It's like $50 a ticket, but it's so worth it. Like, look at this view. So that's Madison Square Garden. There's the Empire State, my old apartment. Just beyond that, Madison Square Park. This is Uptown. There's Central Park up there. And then there's people ab sailing up here. Oh, wait, oh, they just gone in. Oh, no, they're here at the edge. See? I try and say, oh my god, that is not my cup of tea. <laughs> cool though. I mean, they definitely got some good picks. <laughs> the difference 20 minutes makes. Look at this. Getting dark. Okay, literally gotten cold here out of nowhere. As soon as it's getting dark, but like we said, we'd stay. Because you pay an extra $10 for your sunset, but you get daytime and nighttime and sunset and everything. So we're gonna stay until it gets dark. <laughs> so cool. Okay, we were about to leave and we said, it's actually not a bad spot. So you have a drink. We're not really in a rush. So we're having a Brooklyn Lager. This view. Okay, half six o'clock. Half six o'clock, coffee time at the vessel and we are going to head on the high line and walk back up to our hotel. Is it late for coffee? In Ireland? Yes. In New York? No. <laughs> 
After our walk home along the High Line, we went to Bond Street, which is in Soho. We just got a taxi over. It's located on Bond Street, which is where Gigi Hadid used to live. So she would have been a regular there. It's a very like popular kind of bougie spot. It's a really nice vibe in there, really romantic, dark, and the food is amazing. It's kind of a mix of Asian and Japanese. Well, no, they, I think they call it a Japanese restaurant. A lot of sushi. Um, we got sticky rice. We got, what was, the, oh, we got these tuna tarts to start. Oh my God, they're epic. The cocktails are amazing. It is expensive, but it was my favorite meal while we were there. So I definitely, re definitely recommend it. We're in Bond Street. I got a spicy margarita. We've got tuna tarts here. How good do these look? And we have some other sushi and bits on the, on the way. I'll show you when we get them, but this is a very kind of cool spot. This is king crab, um, crispy rice. Okay, so this is a jalapeno scallop, and this is a lobster, te lobster tempura. So, so good. The food is unbelievable. Okay, so we got smoked mules, which are delicious. And we came back for more food. We got the, um, this is a special today. It's a katsu curry, crispy chicken, steamed bun. Looks so good. What a nice touch. I have no idea what anything is, but a little anniversary dish. Next up, we went and checked out Lovers of Today, which is in the East Village, which is a good spot for bars if you're looking for just kind of fun, easygoing dive bars, cocktail bars, there's loads around there. Um, I had saved this because it's Taylor Swift's regular bar. The barman even confirmed it for us. They do cool cocktails. It's a very cool, not too fancy spot. You know, it's a nice date spot, I would say, um, and definitely worth checking out. Okay guys, this is the bar that we were just in. This is Taylor Swift's regular spot when she's in New York. She wrote a song about it. I'm gonna find out what song it was, but it was in my, like, I saved it in Google Maps. So I will fill you in when I know more. The next morning for breakfast, we went and got a bagel in the deli. Um, when we first went in, Mark was like, why are we going to a deli for breakfast? But if you've been to New York, as well as bagel shops, people, they, we like to differ on this opinion, but I think they're just as good from a deli if you find a good one. Um, so we went to a deli, I got a whole wheat everything, scallion cream cheese, bacon bagel, and can't be beaten if that's just my order. And Mark loved it, we went back for another. <laughs> Good morning, it is day two in New York, starting off with a bagel. Um, what did I get? I got a whole wheat everything, scallion cream cheese, bacon, hang on. Can you hold this for a second while I show them? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Mark is not sure it's gonna be good because it's just from a deli, but honestly, it's probably the best food we'll have while we're here. So. Look what happens when Mark makes food decisions. He buys a stale croissant. I told him to stop making food decisions without me. <laughs> Although, right, we're sitting next to Insomnia cookies. These are good cookies. If they're open later, maybe we'll get some. Hello, we are in Rumble. We're gonna do a quick boxing class. I'm so excited, I love these glasses. That day we went to Chelsea Market for some early lunch. We went and checked out a couple of the stalls. They have everything in there. They have loads of different food stalls. They've got seafood, Mexican, uh, Asian, Korean, like everything. So many different types of food and it's really good. We got we went to Las Tacos and got tacos and they were epic. This is our lunch called Las Tacos. I just got one of each of the tacos. I think it's beef, pork, chicken, and I'm not sure what the other one is. So that afternoon we went to Soho House. We had like cocktails and an early dinner there. Soho House is like a private members club. So it's very kind of hard to get in, but we knew somebody in there, we wanted to catch up with them. So we got in and it's fab in there. Like the food is amazing. The service is amazing, staff is amazing. And again, it's a really good, like people watching spot. Um, a lot of celebrities go there. We came in, everyone was like, this is where Caitlyn Jenner sits. This is where Olivia Wilde sits. 
so we had our eyes peeled the whole time but we didn't see anyone um but like justin bieber everyone hangs out there when they're in new york so it was cool to eat there and we actually went there for brunch before we went in the helicopter on the saturday the thing i should say about soho house is you're not allowed to take pictures there which is why i don't have any footage of this i couldn't take out my camera or my phone i'll try and find a picture of the brunch because i don't say this lightly it was the best brunch i've ever had like they had a complete spread they had everything you could possibly want um the brussels sprouts were top notch for me which i know sounds like a weird brunch food but they had every meat you can imagine they had you know like a carvery setup where you could chop off meat and they had every different type of potato you can imagine different types of bread different types of sauces um egg, oh, egg, egg just everything like it was the biggest spread so i'll try and find a picture and then late that night we went to attaboy which is a fine dining restaurant in new york but it's not like as extortionate as you think it was 75 for the set menu it's midtown and we made a reservation beforehand and definitely worth checking out on Friday we started off with a couple of bagels again then we head up to Bryant Park to the food market there they've got so much to choose from I'll put in a video here they've got like donuts waffles whatever you want like loads of different types of food um, and we got a sweet green salad up around there too which isn't worthy of really including because you can kind of have that any day of the week um, followed by a Joe and the Juice sandwich but they're some of my favorite things in New York so I just thought I'd mention them then we head up towards Central Park and we had a drink in the champagne bar and some oysters, which Mark wasn't too happy about, but I was, it was an experience. So he went and got a hot dog in the park afterwards. We are in the champagne bar in the plaza. How gorgeous is this? Some food on the way. And this view. Mark is not happy with me ordering oysters. <laughs> We're having a fancy moment in the plaza. You are. <laughs> I am. <laughs> okay, we're up at Central Park now. First coffee of the day at 3.15. And Mark is gonna get a hot dog now. I'm not having one though because I'm pretty sure they're like made of rats or something. But I guess you have to have one when you come to New York. Maybe I'll have a bite. Can I have a bite? We continued strolling the whole way up Central Park, up, up to the Upper East Side, and went to JG Mellon's, which is a really nice kind of casual dining restaurant, again, American food. Uh, Mark got a club sandwich, I got a burger and chips, but I have to say like a really, really epic burger and chips. And again, this is like a favorite place of the celebs, like Bella Hadid, Justin Bieber, they all hang out there. Um, Bella Hadid actually was there the week we were there. She put up a picture from there. And it's not even, this place isn't expensive. It's, pretty normal prices, like 12 50 for a burger, I think. So we were pretty happy with that choice. That night we went to Buddha Bar, which is in Soho. I would recommend this place if you're into kind of like scenes and like it, very, it was very much like Sex in the City vibes. And my friends described it as like the new Buddha Can, which is where Big and Carrie have their engagement party in Sex in the City. It was very expensive, like super expensive and very loud, like we could barely hear each other talk. The food was amazing, it was such an experience, but still not as good as Bond Street. Hello, this is tonight's outfit. This is from ASOS and my boots are Marks and Spencer's. We are going to Buddha Bar in Soho. It's supposed to be very nice. It's um, really popular at the moment. It's like Asian food. I'm so excited, even though we ate like literally two hours ago and I'm not even hungry. <laughs> But um, yeah, we're meeting Lorna and Cher. Okay, so we're in the Buddha bar. There's a Buddha. There are the girls. <laughs> we got Pau buns to start. What are they, crispy crab? Yeah. Oh, so good. Such a nice vibe in here. Um, this is the truffle fried rice. How good is that look? And then what's that? That's the noodles, vegetable noodles? Furry noodles. King yeah. crab. They're about to kill me taking all the videos, but we got spicy lobster sushi and a California roll. That night we went to the Beekman Hotel in the Financial District for some cocktails. They do gorgeous cocktails and it's such a nice setting. And afterwards we went to our hotel rooftop. I don't think I mentioned we stayed in the Standard in uh, the Meatpacking. And we went up to Le Ban there, which is kind of like a nightclub bar. And it's got the best view of the city, like it's insane. Finishing up here, this is Le Ban Standard. 
and the view is insane. Next morning, we did our helicopter ride, which was amazing. followed by a trip to Connecticut to see my family. Again, I didn't really video this just because I was catching up with them. I hadn't seen them in literally two years since before COVID, but we had a load of kind of football appetizers up there. We had chips and dip. We had um, celery sticks, carrot sticks with um, buffalo chicken dip, which was delicious. We had trifle made by my grand aunt. What else did we have? It was just, it was lovely. It was like nachos, very easy food. And again, probably, not what you want to see on the vlog but for me again it was just so nice to catch up with family and to eat that kind of food and just chat that night we went back to the city and went to Ciccioni's. i hope i said that right and we got loads of gorgeous pizza and pasta to share with our friends and honestly it's probably one of the nicest italian restaurants i've ever been to but new york has loads of them literally, literally is filled with them um i just don't know too many of the names of them and we didn't get to Little Italy this time. Little Italy, that's hard to say. But I would really, really recommend Ciccioni's. It's in a gorgeous area in Dumbo, in Brooklyn, which has a gorgeous view of the city. From that side of the river, you can just see the whole skyline and all the lights and it's incredible. I feel if I should take a bite. Okay, so, <laughs> so we are in Ciccioni's tonight. We got a... Um, oh, I said it wrong again, Ciccioni's. <laughs> what is this, a margarita? Yeah, it's a margarita. Do you want to take, take a bite? Do you want to take a bite? Oh, I'm going to take a bite. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. <laughs> <laughs> this is mine over here. That's prosciutto and burrata. We got some, what is this pasta? I don't know that one. I don't know what that one is. But that's Mark got we, lamb ragu. Rigatoni. And I, I also, what is this one? Uh, that's like a truffle. Oh, that's truffle. Oh, yeah. That's the one I put in. Yeah, and we had some zucchini fries to start, and then also burrata. Oh, so it's all. This oh, is the best meal ever. On our last day, we were met with a snowstorm, which wasn't expected, so we had to head to the airport a little earlier than planned. But we did fit in one last meal. We went to Dos Caminos, which is a gorgeous Mexican restaurant. We got tacos, we got chips and dip, we got frozen margaritas, and it was just epic. Um, I hope this was an interesting vlog for you. I know it's kind of different. It's a hard one to do because I didn't realize how uncomfortable I would feel talking to a camera while people are trying to eat around you. I hope you have a fab time if you're going to New York. I honestly think it's the best place in the world for food and drinks and you can really just try so many different types of cuisine and experiment and just have fun with it. So yeah, make sure you leave a lot of your budget for eating out and for grabbing food on the go because it's amazing. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll be back soon with another travel vlog. I actually have plans to go to Marrakesh next month in Morocco. So if you have any uh, suggestions for me for there, please let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.